Today's video is about pre-emergence. 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 Yo mate, what up? Welcome to the Lawn Tip vid. Alright, so today's video is on pre-emergence. Here's a product that I recommend and I like to use and it's got awesome effects. Barricade. So that stuff's good because it lasts up to six months in the soil. I'd probably say it's more towards four to five months just because you're walking out of your backyard and disturbing the soil beneath. But barricade's good stuff. The active in it is prodiamine. There's other chemicals out there that are pre-emergence as well, but that is what we'll be talking about today. If you've never used pre-emergence before, or even heard of them, check them out because they're great. They'll stop those weeds from germinating. I got this stuff, barricade. Oh, there it is. I got this stuff from fernland.com. I think they're the only guys in Australia that sell barricade in the one liter bottle. That's what it says on the back of their leaflet anyway. That's why I got this stuff anyway, because it was good. I didn't have to get a five litre bottle, I could just get the one litre thing, which made it a little bit cheaper. That cost me 250 bucks Australian, but it will last me ages. I'm only gonna be applying 20 to 30 mil per 100 metres squared, so all up for an application is gonna be 20, 40, 60, 80, around about 80 to 100 mil over my whole backyard, because I've got 400 metres squared. Pre-emergence. So pre-emergence is basically what it sounds like, is it stops those weeds from germinating in the soil. Once your soil temps get to about 10 degrees Celsius, you will find that you actually start to get weeds germinating in your soil. So things like paspalum, winter grass, summer grass, those things start to germinate when the soil temps get to 10 degrees Celsius. So we're about that now here, we're just a little bit below. So you want to apply it just before it hits that, or even when it hits that, you'll still be safe, because they start to emerge a little bit after that. I always find here in Orange, which is where I live, the temperatures don't get warm until October, and I find that Paspalum starts to germinate in October. I've done a lot of lawn renos in spring, and I have always seemed to promote summer grass and Paspalum always start germinating in October. If you live in Queensland, probably going to be a bit earlier, probably the start of September, because you guys are heaps warmer than us. You're always a good 5 to 10 degrees above what we are in your day temps, so yeah. Mm, coffee. So pre-emergence are there basically to stop the weeds from actually germinating in your soil. So you use them on established lawns, you don't use them on newly seeded lawns within the last six months. You do it on your new lawns because you want to stop those weeds from germinating in there. So how pre-emergent works is it basically disrupts cell division in the plant so it can't actually produce a germination. So as soon as it goes to germinate there's a layer of the pre-emergent that hits and then it kills it like a usual herbicide would. So it only has an effect on the small little seeds, it doesn't have an effect on the bigger plants that are well established. They normally say make sure you have a root system below three centimeters just so you're not going to affect your current grass that's sitting there. Oi! Barricade's awesome stuff because you can use it in any grass type. Um, on the lab it doesn't actually say anything about cool season grass but you can use it on cool season grass. I've done it before and it works fine, there's no damage. It's going to have no damage to your lawn whatsoever, it's just going to affect those weeds that want to germinate. So it works the same way when you want to seed a new lawn. If you want to seed a new lawn I wouldn't recommend using pre-emergent because as soon as those seeds try to pop up it's actually not going to germinate. Oh yes. Yes. Who has weed problems out there? You probably. Yep. I've got weed problems. Yeah I've got weed problems but not those sort of weeds. <laughs> Weed problems. Who has weed problems? Yeah, right, I have a couple of weed problems. Right, so let's just do a diagram about how pre-emergence work. I'll show you. Just to make it a bit easier to understand. So, let's start off. So, basically, what we've got here is some dirt. And next thing we're going to draw in with my fully sick drawing skills is some grass. 
Your grass looks better than that. Next thing we're going to draw is the root system. So that's the root system of our good old grass seeds or grass plants. And then next we're going to talk about our pre-emergence. So let's just say we've got a little hand spray just here. Backpack thing and a little handle. Oh man, I suck at drawing. Here's the person controlling it. Heaps good. And here is our little bit of spray. So what basically it does is once your spray is sitting down in there under the soil surface, you find that you have a lot of little weed seeds in your soil surface. These are our weed seeds for example. This layer just here is our pre-emergent. So what our pre-emergent does is it disrupts the cell division in your actual plant, sorry, in your actual weed seed from, from when it comes up and germinates, it actually kills it. So it just disrupts the cell division. That's why it doesn't actually affect these plants here because it's affecting these newly formed plants and when they're trying to trying to germinate and grow. So when you place pre-emergent, you water it in and it sits down below the soil surface like it does just there. And basically any weed seeds that are sitting in that layer just there, they're gonna stop germinating because you have hit it with that pre-emergent. Now over time, obviously this will start to wear away four to six months and you'll find they'll disappear and that's why you have to keep reapplying it. Now you can only apply this stuff probably twice a year, you wouldn't want to go any over that. Things actually start to become resistant over time. You'll find you know, sometimes when you're next to places like paths, etc, etc, the actual residual in the soil there actually breaks down. This is such a sketchy drawing. Um, it breaks down, so you find sometimes along paths and places that get quite a bit warmer, um, your pre-emergent will break down a bit and you'll find that you'll see some weeds still coming through there now. The only way to really to stop these, you could reapply it, or the other thing you're gonna do basically is pick them out by hand. You're gonna be a tough bloke, because you probably won't get that many, so that's the best way to go about it. Now seeds can last in the soil up to seven years, especially past palin ones. That's why you find you have ongoing problems every single year, and you wanna stop them from dropping seeds every single season, so pre-emergence is the go. Do you like my garden path? It's not even like, anyway, that's bad. So Barricade here is a liquid product, and I'm going to be applying that today with a knapsack. One of these big bad boys. This is a good sprayer. It's been really good. And I've got a fan tip nozzle on top of it. Make sure whenever you use a knapsack, it's always cleaned out after every time you use it, because you don't want other chemicals affecting your pre-emerging control. I've had Roundup in that before, so you always make sure you triple rinse things when you finish using them, and then give it another rinse before you start using other chemicals in it again just to be on the safe side. It's been really windy the last couple of weeks, so I won't be able to apply any chemical, which is a bit frustrating, but I'll apply some tomorrow before the wind picks up. Alrighty, so it's the next day, and I'm gonna spray this weed. I've got to spray it early in the morning. I think it's only, it's like seven o'clock right now. 7.16 this morning. Bit of a nasty looking day, but let's go ahead and spray it. All right, so we're gonna fill up some chemical here. Make sure you fill it up three quarters full so then you put your chemical in, then the rest of your water in after that. So I'm putting 30 mil in per knapsack. Because it is pre-emergent and it's so thick and sticky, it's gonna need a really, really good mix. So just make sure before you start spraying you got the right equipment on, so glasses, gloves, shirt, long pants, boots, they're the main things you want to wear, so your PPE, and then we want to start in one corner of the yard and just start going up and down and up and down. This blue spray dye makes it real easy to see where you're going, which is great. Also when you're spraying, make sure you keep your nozzle at knee height, just so you get a nice even spray, and keep those pumps going. Just so you don't get a little bit less liquid when you forget to pump. Alrighty, we're all done. It wasn't too hard. I used three tanks, so I used 90 ml of chemical. Then of course the front yard. So my lawn actually needs a mow, but I won't be doing that for a couple of days. Just let that pre-emergent really sit in the soil and get down in there. I'll probably wait four or five days and then I'll mow my lawn. But yeah, 
quick, easy way to do it. I just find I like using the knapsack more because I can get a more even coverage on everything. I find if I use one of those hand sprays, it's hard to get out the correct amount because they chuck out quite a little bit of chemical at a time with the water. So I just find knapsacks easier, a bit more reliable. Plus I've used it a few times. I know that it takes me, to get about 350 meters squared, it takes me about three tanks, which is why I've hit that much there. Also when you use this spray dye stuff, it's good because you can see where you're going, but it gets everywhere. So make sure you have a wash where you close when you finish because it does, I mean there's actually a bit of chemical on my pants as well, which is not good. So I'll have a shower straight after this. Last thing, make sure when you finish you water it in. So they say six mil of water. You can do it in the first seven days. You don't have to do it straight afterwards. I'm just going to wait till it dries out and then I'm going to do it just so I don't forget. There's no predicted rainfall, so six millimeters of rain. Just so you can get that chemical right in the soil surface. Thanks for watching guys, subscribe if you haven't already, comment below if you have any questions because I don't always cover every single thing in these videos. Ask me what, I don't know, a couple of questions you want to know about it. Ask me about my lunch, my dinner, what I'm doing tomorrow. Just chuck some questions down below if you like. Make sure you chuck a like down as well and you have a good week.